What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to another one take review. <clears throat> Let me let you know what's about to go what's going on right now. I'm in Louisiana visiting my parents and my family and all that shit. And on the way here, I my my camera, I mean my uh my tripod and my light broke. So I gotta order a whole new one from Amazon. Uh I'm in the process of moving as well. Yada yada yada, I won't be able to get my videos up to my regular format until like sometime next week. Or the week after. I don't know exactly. But for now, it's going to be just me holding the camera in my damn hand. But fuck all that. This is another one take review. And this is a review of Dragon Ball Super episode 126. And that shit was so fucking lit. So much fucking nostalgia in this fucking episode. I fucking loved it. Okay. Who is it? Somebody said? My bad. It's, it's, it's creepy. It's creepy. Listen, first of all. We start this episode, Freezer ain't down from the car yet. 17 getting his ass whooped. He can't handle Topo. He told about the liver, the final shot to this nigga 17. This motherfucking Freezer came out of nowhere. Like, bitch, I ain't done with you. Then Freezer started using some goddamn Professor X type uh, <laughs> telekinesis on this nigga. Par put this nigga Topo in paralysis. Then start hitting with rocks and attack. Topo like, shit on me. Nothing to me. Fuck, nigga. Grabbed him. Whooped his ass some more. Did not eliminate that nigga, though. He's he's about to eliminate Freezer and Seventeen at the same time, but <laughs> Goku, Jiren, and Vegeta over there going so fucking hard. The damn energy from their attacks is, is creating its own attacks and just random attacks just hitting motherfuckers. So they had to cut this shit off. Get Jiren and Turbo look at each other like, hey, yeah. They split up Goku and Vegeta because they know Goku and Vegeta against Turbo by I mean Goku and Vegeta against Jiren by itself. Has really, uh, and the eyes working in their favor, but them separated one on one. You pretty much know Jaren one on one against anybody. It's pretty much like for right now, it's pretty much all Jaren. But we give Vegeta versus the God of Destruction Topo. This is the fight we all want to see. Uh, we want to see how Vegeta handles the God of Destruction. And let me tell you, it did not fucking fail. Goku, Vegeta calls this nigga Topo out on some shit. Nigga Vegeta says, What happened to all the justice shit? What happened to that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you guys. Hold up, give me a sec. All right, my bad. Goku, Vegeta asked him, like, yo, what's up with all that, what's up with all that, uh, what happened to all that justice stuff you were talking about earlier? Topo, like, yo, justice wasn't getting it done. Now, I need destruction. That nigga Vegeta, like, I can't respect this nigga. I can't respect you no more. You threw away all your shit because... It wasn't getting the job done. You didn't. That mean you really. Vegeta based on it. You didn't really believe in that shit, dog. Because you gave up on it just because it wasn't getting the job done. Fuck that. And Topo like nigga, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing unless you give up your ideas and shit as well. This nigga threw Vegeta up against that wall. He had Vegeta crucified for a minute. I swear, to, I swear Vegeta looked like Jesus for a minute. He had him crucified up in that rock. Except she was on the wood. We all know that. This nigga. And it happened. It they went. Them motherfuckers went there. The motherfuckers went there. The nostalgia kicked in. That nigga said, "Bum, trunks, bull, come." I said, "Oh no! Don't do this to me right now." Don't do this to me. I'm over here watching the episode, talking to the TV. I'm down in front of the TV. Listen, I got right down. You see, I got right down in front of the TV. I said, "Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me right now." He started losing it. That motherfucking this prince of all saints, the motherfucker who told that same pride, wear that shit on his fucking chest, nigga. That nigga got crunk. That nigga said, fuck that. That nigga started punching through destruction. Don't nobody punch through destruction. It's destruction. It don't do nothing but destroy. Vegeta started punching through that shit like, fuck that, nigga. You ain't nothing. Whatever you let them roll your ideas, you nothing to me. I never lose to somebody like you. And my nigga started whooping the fuck out that nigga Topo. Right? I'm loving it. I'm finna watch the episode again because I was loving it. Dog. I, dog, y'all know Vegeta's my favorite character of any anime. Vegeta's my favorite character. Vegeta's my favorite person of all time. I Not even my favorite anime character. When you go to people, Vegeta's my favorite person in the world. I right? I don't give a damn. Like, Vegeta's my favorite. Dog, when he started going, and then I'm thinking, okay, that's that's enough. He just, he just gonna whip his ass. That nigga Belma said, hey, fuck all that bullshit. Destroy everything. <laughs> just don't kill him. Get it over with. Destroy everything. 
That nigga started trying to use that destruction. Vegeta said, I'm going to give you something you can't destroy. I said, I said, you ain't going to give it to a vision, Vegeta. I said, you ain't going to give it to a vision, Vegeta. You ain't going to give him something he can't destroy, is your Vegeta? You seen that? You seen the circle getting around him? And you seen those little spirals get started getting around? I said, oh, you son of a bitch. You better not. Don't do it, Vegeta. That nigga Topo grabbed his right hand. He grabbed his left hand. He put a destruction ball in both. He combined them bitch to bitch. He could barely hold him, motherfucker. Then it happened. Piccolo said, I know not. And then they go back to when he did it against Roger Boo. I said, why are y'all bringing so much nostalgia? Why are y'all doing this to me? Y'all know how I feel. Y'all know how I feel about this. I'm like, oh, they doing it, ain't they? They doing it, ain't they? Dog, they showed him when he did it the first time. Then he did it again. And listen, the destruction ball covered him up. But he busted on that bitch and did he eliminate the top of the outlet. Topo can handle it. Eliminated Topo. Fuck ass. He eliminated Topo. And then it was Jiren. And, and I'm going to be honest. At that point, we, we seen, we, we thought Vegeta was dead. Or I, I, once they seen, they showed Topo, I was waiting to see if they were going to show Vegeta pop up on the thing too. Cause there's really like none of the platform left. The, the whole thing is pretty much fucked up at this point. I'm trying to see if Vegeta going to appear next to somebody on Universe 7 side. He didn't. But what the fuck did happen next was some shit I don't think nobody was ready for. Jaren said, I expected more from you. I said, oh. That nigga said, and he basically told Vegeta, congratulations for being Topo. Like, he made Topo seem like, a nigga, you just be Topo, nigga. That's nothing. Now, that nigga said, now let me show you something. I said, oh, my God. First time, also, this is the first time I think Vegeta ever lost his entire shirt. In a fight. <laughs> That's, I know this trumped is like crazy, but this is the first time he ever lost his entire shirt in a fight. It's the way he it has the Goku look. Now it's Goku Jiren, I mean Goku Vegeta, and uh, 17 staring down a po Jiren powering up, which is probably had to be the scariest thing you ever seen in your life. I even got scared. I said, I was happy with his head for a minute. Then I seen Jiren start powering up. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> That was short lived. There's four minutes left in this tournament, and I promise you they finna be lit. Freezer somewhere unconscious or something, or just hiding out. It's been a lot of predictions like Freezer and Goku gonna be the last two people left, and it's just gonna be like maybe they just rich Freezer back or something. Or, or, or but my nigga Vegeta said, I can't lose. I made a promise to Kava, so I don't know how this gonna go. I enjoyed this episode. You guys let me know what you thought about down in the comments. This was very, very fun. This was a fun episode to watch. Uh once again, I'll let you, uh, you guys know what's going on with me. I'm going to try to keep uh, keep up with my stuff. But it's hard to, like, keep up with my shit while I'm down here because I am not I can't be as focused as I used to be. But I'm going to try to this time. <laughs> Last time I came, I got kind of distracted by a lot of shit. But I'm going to try this time. Uh, yeah, this was also, this was a great-ass episode. Loved it. Five more episodes of Dragon Ball Super, people. We got four minutes left in the tournament. Let's see what we're going to get. Catch up. Ciao later.